Hello all my Hollow Maniacs out there! Welcome back to the channel, it's so great to see you guys again. And now it is time once again to answer your questions, because you guys have a lot of questions, and I have a lot of answers. As long as those questions are about me, otherwise I don't really have many answers. So anyways, let's get started. Eliza Cross asks, what is your least favorite attraction at Disneyland and why? Okay, so I know I'm about to receive a little bit of hate comments for this, because the ride I don't like at Disneyland is technically a classic. But I don't like the storybook canals. I know, I know, I know, you go through Monstro's mouth and it looks so cool, and I, I, it was cool going through Monstro's mouth, but once you get past that, it's just a bunch of miniatures of, like, Disney places. And I love miniatures, but not from a ride. Because you just go by and you just kind of see, oh, that, that looks like Agrabah, okay, okay, that looks like a castle. Miniatures are meant to be looked at and see the intricacy of all the details. When you're on a ride, you can't see them. Grizz.com52 asks, what a burger or in and out Now, whoever asks this question must not know, I'm a Texan born and bred. Drew and Stuff asks, what is your favorite 90s Cartoon Network cartoon? Now, I love Cartoon Network in back in the 90s, but my favorite one was Ed, Ed, and Eddie. It was so weird and so bizarre, and everyone had like blue tongues, and no one ever explained why, but I don't know, I just really liked it. Veronica Ramirez asks, who has been your biggest influence in life? So there's actually been quite a few, depending on like where I was in my life at the time, but I think my biggest influences are John Lasseter, uh, Josh Groban for my musical style, Jim Cummings for my voices, Robin Williams just for overall comedy, and my fifth one would have to be uh, my voice professor back at DBU. He was a huge influence on just who I was and big part of my personality. And most recently I've kind of noticed my dad. He's been a big one. Growing up, I never really saw him as kind of an influencing person on my life, but the older I get, the more I come back home and see that, oh, I really did pick up a lot from him and I respect a lot of what he does now, stuff that I didn't even realize as a kid. So, yeah, that's it. Abs is here asks, what's your choice of editing software to use for your vids? I myself am a Final Cut Pro man, and I have been forever. I know a lot of people are switching to Adobe Premiere. I thought about checking it out, but right now I'm just really comfortable with Final Cut, and I'm like, it does everything I want it to do, so kuda matata. Or to the Lando asks, how come you don't have a southern slash Texas accent? Does it vary from region? I don't know why I don't have an accent. Uh, because my mom's got an accent, my dad's got an accent, but my sister and I, for some reason, we don't have one. But I've been told from my friends, if I start lifting heavy things, or if I get really tired, then I start getting an accent for some reason. Jesse Cates asks, do you like DuckTales? And if so, what is your thoughts on the new one starting soon? And could you do some DuckTales impressions? I love DuckTales, it is awesome. And I know this question was written before the premiere happened, and I have watched the new DuckTales and I loved it. I thought it was great, it harkened back to the old show, so many little gags from the 90s, which I loved. And then uh, just, they did a great job of updating it. It felt new and it felt different, but still harkening back to its original source material. And will I do DuckTales impressions? Let's just say I have something planned coming up. Woo! Annie Bolin asks, what is the one question you are always asked and get tired of answering? Really my big question that I get tired of answering a lot is just, how do you do it? I know a lot, that's like the number one question I get asked and I, it, I understand why people ask it. Um, but to me, that's just like asking, how do you sing? How do you talk? It's just second nature to me to where I'm, I'm frustrated because I don't know how to answer it. It's a it's a legit question. I just have no idea how to answer. I'm just like, I just do it. That's always what I answer because I'm like, I have no other thing. I know people want there to be like, oh, I took this one class and it taught me everything. Or, oh, I hit this magical button and it made me do impressions. That's not how it works. I, I just do it. Mary Mary Cat asks, your favorite Don Bluth animation movie? Okay, so I, I kind of have a tie for two. One is The Land Before Time. There's never been a dinosaur movie done quite as well as this one, other than like Jurassic Park, but like an animated one for kids? 
I've never seen one better. And then also Anastasia. Now I know all the hardcore Don Bluth fans are gonna be saying, well, that was just Don Bluth selling out to be like Disney. That's absolutely true. And he did a good job doing it. Disney Freak 272 asks, when you go to Disneyland, what do you put in your backpack? So as many of you guys have seen in like my Disneyland or Disney World impressions, I'm usually wearing a little cinch backpack and I always take it with me to the park. I always keep this bag in my car just in case I go to Disneyland last second. And uh, it has a few things in there, like uh, I always keep sunscreen, both the lotion and the spray kind, just in case, even though I rarely use it. Also, it always has my Walt Disney Studios hat in there. I usually wear a hat when I go to the parks just because I either wear the sunscreen or I put this on and it blocks the sun from my face and I like hats better. And last but certainly not least, I have my pair of sunglasses, you know, just in case the sun gets a little bit too much and I always look cool. Benjamin Inc. A. Leslie asks, what is your favorite football team? Okay, I'm gonna be real honest. I don't really follow football, but I do have a favorite football team and it's the Dallas Cowboys. Strictly because they're from Dallas and so am I. So root for the home team. Celeste asks, have you ever watched Once Upon a Time and if so, do you like it or not? I have seen every episode of Once Upon a Time and I really enjoy it. Uh, the last season, however, it was kind of underwhelming. And then like the next season, the trailer coming out, I'm like, oh wow, it's about to get real weird. So I don't know if I'm gonna continue after this season, but the previous seasons I really enjoyed. And I really like the musical episode, just saying that right now. Antonella414 asks, What was your favorite Nickelodeon TV show? Love your impressions. Since we did 90s for Cartoon Network, let's do 90s for Nickelodeon too. Just say the favorite 90s show. If I had to pick, it would be Hey Arnold, but a very close second would be Rocket Power and Wild Thorn Fairies. I really love these shows. Which is weird, I liked Rocket Power. I didn't really like sports or pay much attention to it, but I still love that show. The characters were great. Jennifer Casagrande asks, do you ever attempt to do impressions of your friends? No. There's a old saying in the art world that I really admire um, by all the caricature artists. They say, every caricature you do of a friend, you lose a friend. I think it's the same thing with impressions. Mainly just because I'm afraid they may take it the wrong way, just because Majority of the time if you do an impression of somebody it's to make fun of them like with celebrities do with presidents all the time and stuff like that I do impressions because I sincerely like that voice and I want to emulate it Not everybody gets that Alyssa Brienne asks does anyone else in your family have a knack for voice impressions like you do or are you just the lucky one? It is just me. It is just me. I'm, I'm very much different from the rest of my family. I love them to death, but I'm very different so that's it for this Ask Brian. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have a question you want to ask, you can ask below in the comments. Just hashtag Ask Brian so I can find it. And I'll see you guys later this week. Bye!